Hi to YouTube, Killer Off-Road Hobbies, here with a update. So, I got this bad boy. This is the 1A scale buggy from Thunder Tiger called the Bushmaster. This thing runs a 2000 kV Ripper motor. It is only 4S compatible, which I will uh, be switching that out very quickly. 6S all day long because this thing rips rips on 6S if you'd like to see videos of this um, You can look up Ozzy RC playground. He has awesome videos of this. This thing is Incredibly incredibly tough and that's the reason I got it. I'm a basher you guys that have seen my videos see that You know, I'm not easy on my rigs. So the one thing I've done already is uh, I've already changed out the tires. These are Badlands. Not sure what rims they're on, but these are the stock tires that come on here. There's a, they're a little wider, but they are shorter, and the tread's not very deep, and the loose dirt and muddy, you know, surfaces I run on. These tires are going to be way better because these wouldn't really grip. These actually feel pretty good, but these ones are nice, a lot softer, knobbier, good stuff. It does have the onboard audio as well. Eh, you know, we'll see how long it lasts in there. Pretty sure I'll probably get rid of it, but, you know, it is what it is. This thing's cool. One body pin flips up. I'm not really a review guy, but hey. I think I'm going to love this thing. Awesome, awesome looking rig. And back to my other two rigs, which I beat kind of hard yesterday. This one didn't last very long. The Sabertooth, I was pretty disappointed in it that it broke that rear A-arm right away. I'm hoping it's a fluke. I have seven more spares. They're uh, asymmetrical. So, they're all four interchangeable. It doesn't really matter. So, I have seven more spare A-arms. So, hopefully that was a fluke. I don't know if it's the bigger, heavier tires. I was running dual, super big packs. I was running two of these, the hard case, 7,000 milliamp, giant power packs. I mean, these things, you know, two of these are pretty heavy. They line up right there. And the chassis, so I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it was like cold, heavy packs, you know, landed funny with big tires, or it could just be, you know, it is what it is. I actually did break the Creighton too, which was surprising. I broke the rear chassis mount, as you can see right there, and I also broke the other end of the mount that connects to the rear differential housing but I already ordered the parts they're on their way it's only 12 bucks to fix the Creighton this thing I mean you get a set of four A-arms for like six bucks you know so it's super good but um, I also wanted you guys um, to leave in the comment section below if you would which monster truck you would rather me have I've been thinking about getting the K-Rock by Thunder Tiger which is an A scale monster truck kind of based on the MT4 G3 but it's the MT4 G5 um, I was also thinking possibly getting the MT4 G G3 or Maybe, I mean, I was kind of thinking about the Low C XL, but I think the bang for your buck, it's probably there, but it's pretty expensive. So, I was also thinking maybe the Sin Colossus, which is a truck I've wanted ever since I've got into RC. But, you know, just leave your comments in the section below which one you'd like to see me bash on and repair videos and stuff like that. And if there's a monster truck that you have a suggestion for and you know you'd possibly want to see I'll look it up see if I might like it 
you know, anything's possible. But just leave your comments in the section below. Um, as always, this is Killer Off-Road Hobbies signing out. Peace.